Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting our students and our school and our theater. Um, just a quick word, because I really hate curtain speeches. Um, really quickly, what tonight is about is um, we have been working on this show for uh, several weeks, right? And then, of course, um, COVID. Ooh! And then, you know, some other stupid things, and then those other stupid things, and then these stupid things. And so we had to start and stop a lot with it, and we lost a lot of momentum. And there are things, the, 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 sh the show that these students have created is, uh, I don't know how to, I can't work. It's been a long week, y'all. Um, but the um, we know that we're on the cusp of something like really special, and so what we were hoping for with tonight is to workshop this. And by workshop, we mean we're going to do our show, how we've been rehearsing it, and then after the show, it runs about forty-five minutes ish. After the show, the cast is going to get um, changed out of their costumes and then come back here on stage. And um, after the show, if you need to go to the bathroom or whatever, that's a good time to do that. But if you are of a mind to stay, then I will sort of moderate kind of uh, a discussion about, um, you know, what worked and stuff for you guys. Okay, but. Of course, these are our very wonderful, lovely students, and we want to fill them up with inspiration and, and strength, in addition to knowing that this, this quite isn't, we know that this isn't quite everything it could be. So just saying that. So this is just how we're workshopping that. Maybe I shouldn't say that whole thing. <laughs> well, 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 really quickly, um, don't, don't go backstage after the show. Don't, please don't do that. Some people do and don't because they're changing clothes. That's stop it. So <laughs> also, it's a freaking maze back there, and you'll get lost, and we'll never see you again, and that would be very sad, and you would be like. You know, Jack Nicholson is the shining. <laughs> so, okay, so um, thank you for being here and hang around until, uh, after the show and we'll talk some. Thanks. I'm 
party on the side. I can eat too
Did you just pick that pencil off of the floor? <laughs> Miss Alice? Are you lying to me? No. I mean, maybe you wouldn't be lying if you didn't hear their incredible um, show and tell on why not to lie and steal. We can steal that, but... Well, I didn't really know this was happening. You didn't know it was show and tell? No. I can tell where it is show and tell! Well, it is this. I, that's why I brought my box. This dude, like, woke me up, and he grabbed my bear, and then I walked for, like, eight miles in the woods, and... Yeah! Miss Alice, I think you are telling stories. Why, um, well, why is that a bad thing? Well, because you're making things up and showing disrespect in my classroom. It's not disrespect, as it as it think of it as story time. But this is not story time, Miss Alice. I think you need to deal with the principal's office. Why? Because you're disrespecting my classroom rules. I'm not disrespecting your rules. Yes. Your, your rules are stupid. Miss Alice, go to the principal's office. Fine. This is just, this is so ridiculous. I don't even know who you are. All right, class. It's time for a pop quiz. You don't know the questions yet. <laughs> Question one. What sunk the Lusitania? Yes, Fitzgerald. Green. Very good. Question two. <laughs> what do sharks and stingrays have in common? Yes, stopper. I like sharks and stingrays and frogs. Very good. Last question. What is the square root of three? Yes, Bradbury. Box. Very good. <laughs> Class dismissed. Thank you. I think I caught a case of Gregor Samsa the other day. I swear I did. No. Did I? Bugs. It's all about bugs. I used to really like bugs when I was smaller. Younger. I don't really like them as much now. I've got to go. Thank you very much. I miss I really need a baby to drag you up in a bake sale tomorrow. I uh, really don't want to. Medieval torture methods. <laughs> <laughs> this is really interesting. <laughs> I've got to go. Thank you. Um, how did you know what I like also? Thank you. I love it when he said, it's Hester printing time, and just Hester printed 
all over the place? Hamlet? That's not Hamlet. Are all the books like this? Hi, um, what's, what's your book about? The Star Trek Wars, obviously. Yeah. Thanks. Hi, um, can I know what your book is about? Oh, it's about a young queer awakening between two young gentlemen. <laughs> the Holy Bible. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me? Hello. What's your book about? Oh my goodness. So my book is about these two young grasshoppers, and they fell in love. So first, there's Hopkins, and he always goes to the local grasshopper cafe. And then there's this sassy barista, and her name <laughs> is Paparita. And oh, Paparita always serves Hopkins coffee. Hi, um, what, what's it called? Oh, The Chamber by John Grisham. <laughs> This doesn't make any sense. <sighs> I do have to pick up more John Valjean before I get home, but other than that, I'm free for the evening. I forgot to pick up Lois to do little for the day here. Did I have my home call field in the garage? asking that of you? Uh, I'm Atlas, I, I think. <laughs> I need a minute, hold on. other very, very much. <laughs> How about the name Shell? Yeah! Oh, you know what? I, mean, I think I might be going into a late one. Okay, fine. Oh, we'll go stop at the McDonald's. Now let's go. Okay. <laughs> How 
should I know? Huh. You're at an information desk. Who said it was going to be good information? <laughs> <laughs> because all information should be helpful and useful information, especially at an information desk. Whatever this place is. Quite a naive mindset you've got. <laughs> Want a hit? <laughs> I don't smoke bubbles. <laughs> Nothing in them. <laughs> right, I'll, I'll cut to the G. How do I get back home? Where's home to you? In a house where my family is. A house and a home can mean very different things at very different times. <laughs> Well, my house, my home is a house, and that's where my family is, and I would absolutely love to get back there. Okay. I need just one more minute. Hold on. Do you know where the nearest restaurant is in this Onward or something? I'm really hungry. I've been walking around all day. Like, and I'm super hungry. Do you know where one is? Maybe the answer to that question is inside you. <laughs> Thank you so much! <laughs> okay. I don't know what this place is exactly. I would love to know where I need to go next. What's this? A map? A map. Do you... to constructive or enjoyable by any chance? Now that you say that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go this way, thank you. Okay, this I, I can't even find where I am on this. That, it, it, that continues to be not helpful. Do you realize how crisis inducing this is? At all. Like, can you show me where I am on this map? Look, I don't know where I am. If that is so crisis inducing right now, I am trying to stay calm, but I am losing oh, my body. Sorry, oh, sorry. Oh, hey, so you don't go that way. It's actually on this way. I was asking you. I don't know where I am, and I don't even know why nobody is listening. 
creatures from above and below to the most uniquely teeny, totally teeny, tea show, talk show, game show you have ever seen. I'm your host, Matthew Hatter. So let's dive right into the new season. Starting off with introducing our returning champions, Juan and Juan! familiar constants on the show. So, how you two been doing, Juan and Juanus Finch? I moved to a nearby forest and started my own flower shop. Oh, lovely! Uh -huh. <laughs> and what about you, I moved back into my parents' basement, and I often spend my days talking to the people in my head. <laughs> oh, and now, for the new faces on our show, introducing Craig Crow and Alice! All right, well, Craig, how have you been doing? I think you are due for a little introduction. Well, yeah, I'm doing great. I live in Fungi Forest, and I'm a mushroom high-rise architect. Oh, wonderful! I love that. And for... <laughs> oh, wonderful! So, let's dive right into the show. So, starting off with our first question, going to our familiar faces, Juan and Juan Finch. In what season do most folks typically get wed? <laughs> I overslept last night and slept through my alarm in bed. That's correct! Let's see those purple flowers on the floor! <laughs> Looks like your street's still alive! Good going! All right, now for our second question. Our second question goes to team two, our second team. So, what is the diameter of the moon? It's beautiful in summer, island in June. That's correct! Let's see the And for our third question, much like our first team, what color is the color blue? The people in my head said the color is yellow. That's incorrect. Let's see those red clubs on the board. Mm. Tis a shame, tis a shame! But maybe our next question could be a tiebreaker. Could this be the end of the episode? You may never know. It depends on the outcome and how smart our young, bright people are. So, why is tea the best time? What? Um. I don't know, uh, my dad's old, so he listens to Sublime? That's correct! Let's see them! Let's see those blue headbands on the board. Well, folks, you saw it first. You saw it here. Our, our new champions. Our new bright stars! <sighs> and for Juan and Juan to Finch, it seems they've been knocked off their pedestal, dethroned, but they still get to stick around for our final grand prize! <laughs> And I owe you! Oh my gosh, that's amazing! What do you owe me? No, read it. 
I owe. I owe you. Money. <laughs> <laughs> See, here at the most uniquely, teakly, totally, teetly tea show talk show game show you've ever seen, we value our, the education of our young students. So, young Alice here has received a wonderful education in tea. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, that seems to wrap up the show. So, Let's dismiss our teams. Farewell to Juan and Juanus Finch. Farewell, my young soldiers. And a farewell to our new, bright, young, beautiful folks. So, farewell. <laughs> said before, that is all. But I will see you on our next show, Anne Takes Roadshow. <laughs> Bad answer. Continue. Uh, so as I was fighting the dragon with my bare hands, I threw a rasher 
so glad I found you again. Nothing in this place makes any sense, and it's all confusing and stressful, and no one is nice to me, and I don't even know where I am. I don't even know who I am at this point, and it's just so... That's a lot of blue. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alice. I'm Alice. My name is Alice. So is mine. Me too. I think I knew that, that you were all Alice. Um, just a quick question. How? Yeah. Because I lived you? But I don't know you. I don't know you either. I know who you are. I don't know what any of you. I, no, no, I know who all, no, I, 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 your pencil. You got that from the teacher who was really mean to you and had a really nice argyle sweater. That was pretty tacky. <laughs> And your book, you got it from the library, and none of the books match the covers, and yeah. Still doesn't. <laughs> and the map you got from the information desk with not informational information. I'm still so mad about it, too. And the IOU you got from the game show. You got debt? <laughs> That's really sad. I it know. Really is. I and all of you recognize this. Silly. That's my bear. Yeah, it's also my bear, and I worked hard to get it back, and I'm not gonna give it to you just because you're some past version of myself. My mom gave me that bear. Yeah, for we our birthday. Well, yeah, me too. On December 25th, 1972, at 4 a.m. on a Monday. Okay, that's fair. That is really good. That is really good. Okay, uh, what about what's everybody's favorite color? Mine's lapis. Lapis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, no, but remember the road trip where our mother said we couldn't take Silly because we would lose Silly? Oh, yeah. The one with the mountains? Oh, okay. yeah. oh, in the trees. There's all those trees. And all the, like, the loops. Oh, yeah. Oh, was really scary. Yeah, and, uh, and she was so scared that we were going to lose Silly, but... but... But we didn't. We didn't lose it there. We lost it here, where wherever here is. And now we're stuck here looking for this exit that looks a lot like that one. Hold on a minute. <laughs> I think it says types. You start with it. T I X E. No, E X I T. Exit. Yeah. Wait. That is definitely the exit, and it's been here this whole time. That's the thing we've been looking for. All this time. Right in front of us. I need a minute. But what, what, what are we waiting? We need to go. Wait, guys. Um. Just a quick question. So, if all of us leave, then won't we, like, not exist? Oh? Is that, what, is that a bad thing? <laughs> well, yeah, I kind of, I kind of like who I am. Me too. Me three. Me even four. though you are <laughs> Yes, even with all of my debt, it doesn't. <laughs> I... So then if we can't all go, who goes? Well, you can't leave because all of us will not exist, and wait, I can't leave because you three... You so on and so forth. Yeah. Wait, wait, we... Only... None of us can leave besides that one, because if any of us besides that one left, we wouldn't exist or so, be a thought anymore. I 
guess that one has to leave then. I'm not sure if I'm ready to leave. Well, you come all this way. It is true. I really have to come all this way. Eight miles. More than eight miles. Yeah, it's been a while. Look how many times you change. It's, I don't know, it's like, we've been through all these chapters, right? And this is just the next one. Yeah, I guess so. So, better get going. Wait. I mean, technically, we'll always get it with you. Here. And up here. And here, yeah. Also, it's, um, here. <laughs> Even though it says that on the cover, it's actually Hamlet on the inside. <laughs> I love Hamlet. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you might. Bye, Alice. Bye, Alice. Bye, Alice. <laughs> we love you. I love you, Alice. Bye. Bye, bye. bye. Alice. I want to give you the map, even though I really couldn't figure out where we are until five minutes ago. I, I want you to have it so, besides your heart and your mind, you could remember our adventures, that stupid information does. But you can also realize how far you come, even though that isn't probably for the outside world. I have no idea, though. <laughs> Take it and remember us. Bye, Alice. Bye, Alice. Bye, Alice. We love you. We love you, Alice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need that. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You're right. You don't need this. But I'll take a hug. Oh. You know me. I'm always a hugger. Thank you.